Yo, and welcome back to the Ice Booge Daily Channel. This is an experimental tech and media brand. This will be a vlog. We usually go 20 minutes, but I'm trying to shake things up a little bit. Topic will be on, I don't know exactly, but I took some notes once again, and I said yesterday I don't like the choppy format that comes with like trying to read notes and stuff as opposed to just like, you know, going off the top of my head and I said the other day that reading notes but not actually going off them well actually writing notes and then I lost them and then I just kind of went from memory uh, that was decent that's sort of like making the cheat sheet for the exam is more useful than actually using it during the exam because you just have to go through all the ideas and imagine them and write them down in a way that makes sense so yeah just writing the notes and studying them might be good enough and the ones that I lost I actually did have kind of a sequence in mind so I did really go that far with the imagination whereas these ones again like yesterday are just like smash down no thought about connecting topics together or anything ahead of time and so yesterday was pretty choppy we'll see if we can do better today I'm gonna have to keep start stopping and starting the car not because I'm uncomfortable with the heat it's a very it's a dry like 35 percent humid hundred and like 95 or 100 or so degrees I think peak 96 um, at 6 p.m. an hour ago I love this temperature like I did my research before I came to this town and knew that the weather would be great for me but uh, the electronics, they don't like it. And I I didn't factor that in because I haven't stayed in a small town before where I've had so few options of places to go. Like in the Bay Area, just in Mountain View and Palo Alto, I could go to 15 Starbucks, Pete's, Phil's, smaller shops, whatever. Then there's the Hacker Space, Hacker Dojo. Um... There was the work center, when, which where, while I was waiting for work, I could do work at their tables in the lobby or whatever they call it, waiting, <clears throat> waiting room. So yeah, uh, I really, we'll see how this notes thing works out. So today is homelessness day 2,221, meaning tomorrow is day 2222. How cool is that? That's a long time, right? What can we get done for day 2222? Now granted, 90 of those days I was in a homeless shelter. For a while of that I was staying with my relative, but, you know, not as a resident, as a guest, you know. Not receiving mail, um, not actually using the house as a workspace because I didn't want to give him any intellectual property claim of I used his space to develop my intellectual property, etc. Um, I did like dev practices and like I did some YouTube videos on there. If he wants to fight for rights to those, oh god, I don't want to deal with it, but those were, that was where I was doing the biblical slavery ones and the hashtag free Britney and the Cain and Abel stuff. So, god, I could go for so long today. So, okay, I was going to say something if we can get more than $222 to Venmo by tomorrow, I'll get a room and read through all the Venmos, because I know a lot of people have given them over time, but I don't know if any are coming in now, like I'm not asking for anything, the description says I'm good, even though if you want to give it for the channel, like that's cool, but I don't need it, right? And I know times are hard, so if I don't need it, why would you give it? Why would you, you know, if you have a budget for giving to people in need or whatever, right? Definitely give it to somebody else. If you got a budget for channels that you want to see grow and evolve and whatnot, then definitely I would like to use it for that purpose. That could include getting a motel room. That could include really anything. I mean, but one thing I am conscious of is commingling funds between business and personal. So that's like a whole can of worms that I haven't opened on the channel, but I am internally aware of it. Like the less I commingle funds, the better. Like 
I'd need an accountant or something. Like if I were to use it, you know, for particular things, I'd have to set it up so it goes to the channel and part of the channel's mission is doing such. And as part of that mission, we gave it to me to do that such thing, right? Not great, but it is what it is. So <sighs> it'd be nice if I could do a bunch of little videos in a day, but this really is just my logistics and my day schedules are limited by my logistics. When can I get to storage? When is the peak of heat or cold? You know, earlier in the year it was I have to go to Starbucks for heat in the morning because it's like 35, 40 degrees, which is, yeah, not freezing, but it's certainly not comfortable without heat. Now here, 4 to 6 p.m. is the peak of heat for days. So I have to go to Starbucks and like doing much outside is not easy. Like trying to tint my windows, the solution, I mean, it's almost just too hot and the solution evaporates or something right away. So I'd best do projects like that in the morning, you know, due to the heat. The library, it's only open four days a week and those four days during hours when I'm at work. So I might be able to get like an hour if I shoot straight there after work. But, you know, do I want to take a shower right after work? That's usually what I prefer. I like to shower at night. The world likes you to be showered in the morning. So, you know, I'm kind of moving towards showering in the morning. I'd like to lift in the evening, but I only want to shower once a day. I've got a good bathroom at work, so I bring my my portable, uh, you know, toiletries kit or whatever to work. And since I'm a dishwasher, it's pretty easy to justify changing my clothes. I, I do a whole clothing change. And just while I've taken my shirt off, you know, I'll wash my face, my arms all the way up. And, you know, I might rinse out my armpits. Since soap is caustic and can kind of burn, I don't like to use soap there where it's hard to rinse out. If I really stunk, I would, but I'll just rinse those out. You know, definitely not use soap like at the nether regions because then it really starts dripping all over the, like I'm not showering that deep in the work bathroom, but if I could do it without it dripping all over, I might do it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought of a, guideline for how appropriate it is to bathe in bathrooms actually for Starbucks I just had to turn on the car so for Starbucks something that would actually that might actually be another win-win-win so I mentioned a homeless person goes asks for a job to clean the bathroom you pay them for an hour and give them a drink or something to clean the bathroom that's way cheaper than any cleaner you know pay them $20 for an hour and give them a drink. You know, you might you might get a cleaner for $25 for an hour. And they probably have minimum two hours a lot of times. Two to four hours minimum. Or at least one. So, say, you know, if it was blah, 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 right? So, the hidden win here is that baristas are hostile towards homeless people because they have to clean the bathroom and homeless people mess up the bathroom, right? So you get a homeless person to clean the bathroom, the barista doesn't have to clean the bathroom, the homeless person gets a drink and that 20 bucks to go buy some food, right? Little by little they stack it up. Yeah, homeless people might get into fights over the opportunity. That's the one downside. Please don't latch on to that and say, oh, it sounds like a great idea except for that. Anyway, I came up with another Starbucks homeless thing, which is a homeless person goes in and asks them for a towel, right? Every kitchen everywhere has a bin of towel. You know, you, you've got laundry services that come and bring a ton of towels on laundry day, right? The yellow towels, the white towels, you know, a lot of times yellow for back of house, white for front of house. So you give the homeless person a towel to use in the bathroom. Mmm, now they don't have to use all the napkins. A lot of Starbucks use, don't have paper towels anyway. I said napkins, I mean paper towels. People do come out of the bathroom and use napkins too, I notice. But so, homeless people get a towel to go into the bathroom with. Because 
when I wash myself after work, it's 100% enough, one small towel. I actually take one of work's towels to dry myself off so I don't have to deal with a bunch of wet towels. Mmm. I do have my own backup towel just in case I need it. But yeah, so... Do you give them a towel to use in the bathroom to clean themselves with? And that sort of naturally limits what you clean too. And there, you could give like a guide too, like how to, how to clean yourself with one towel and five pumps of soap or whatever. Cause the way I do it, like I, I get water, I run it on my face, get it all wet. And then I lather up some soap and then I put the soap onto my face and then I just keep putting more water on. And then I grab the towel and I dry my face out and then repeat with my arms while my shirt's off. This might be too far for Starbucks, you know? So that would be like the limit of just like soap and a towel, right? You could get a little bit more advanced so I can go into my armpits and then wipe it up. And you definitely dry your armpits last because then you dry your armpits, then you dry your face. Not good, right? So that's another way Starbucks could help the homeless is providing a towel to use in the bathroom to clean themselves. Like. It's not great, but if Starbucks is effectively a homeless shelter... Now, I've been giving Starbucks broke equals GTFO, like if you don't buy anything, get out of here, as like a new branding and strategy. Because after pandemic, like, I don't think people like go out and hang out in public, especially since homelessness has gotten crazy since pandemic. I mean, it's been bad, but it got even worse during pandemic because the only people outside were homeless people is they just kind of like started roving and taking places over like one of the starbucks in san francisco removed all the seats after they had already covered all the outlets the one on 19th and uh irving irving and 19th did that and anyway so especially those two together you know, a homeless person cleans the bathroom and homeless people can get a towel to clean themselves in the bathroom. How sweet would that be? National homeless shelter. And if you don't want to go that way, then go the way of broke equals GTFO because the middle ground is terrible and it stresses everybody out. Everyone hates each other. You know, if I ever walk out of the bathroom with a rinsed face, who knows what will happen. But anyway, I mean, they already watch me. I, f I don't know if they watch me as close anymore, but they had been watching me very close anyway. So that's one of many, many ideas that I wrote down. I had another thought too. All right, let me just stop. So yeah, back to the 2,221 days and 222 for tomorrow. So it's clear that I should be spending more time doing my mission work. That's what this is. I'm not being paid. I will not monetize the channel with ads. It's not that kind of channel. But, you know, these are these messages are going to be just repetitive if I can't afford to do anything except go to work and get on here. Go on, go to work, get on here. Go to Starbucks, you know, deal with the blaring music but there's air conditioning and a place to sit. So I deal with it, but I can't really concentrate or do anything. I can't record anything there, etc., etc. So if we want to get me space, we have to be giving me money. And so, I mean, if I'm giving these videos away for free, why would anybody donate money, right? If I'm not in dire need, why would anyone donate to the channel? I mean, I'm only on here for 20 minutes. Minimum wage is, say, $15 an hour. So 20 minutes is 5 bucks Total between everyone together. So everyone gets on and donates $1 per day. Five people do it. Well, I think there's like 100 and some returning viewers consistently. One... You know, I haven't looked too closely, but it's like between one and 200 returning viewers. 
So if all returning viewers gave like $1 per video, that would already replace my job, which is paying me less than $100 a day. $16 an hour times six hours a day, do the math, right? 96 bucks. Before tax, California tax. How much am I making? You know, probably, now given, I don't know that, I think it's like 0% tax for like the first 12,000 or 18,000 or something. So I might not be paying tax, like because I make too little money. But, you know what I'm saying? So like $96 peak, probably more like 75 bucks. So if 75 people gave me a dollar per day or five or six dollars per week, right? That actually ends up being six per week, 12, 24, so like $25 a month. Well, I've got a channel membership at $9.99 a month, right? So even if I only upload half as much, that still makes that price point. So with 100 returning viewers, like we should be getting, you know, at what point would it be, you know, would it be reasonable to just replace my job? I mean, dollar for dollar wise, when I'm making twice as much as I am at my regular job, I'll do internet stuff full time. And that could be through any number of income streams, selling merch, donations, yada, yada. Now, space to work on merch, space to check email, fulfill orders, etc. That's what I got to build up to. So what if for three months, every time I... Yeah, I, I, I might... I, I could change Patreon to be that model, the delivery model, which is people become supporters and they support you based on how much you publish. So every time I publish a video, how much is one video worth? Different amounts to different people, of course, but you know, in the fungible or is it, yeah, fungible? I'm trying to remember if it's fungible or non-fungible. Non-fungible, non-replaceable. So fungible theory of labor. How much is a video worth? How much is a minute of video? It, it's not really like that, right? How much is a viewer minute worth? Like, since I'm not running ads or anything, effectively zero. But you'll go to the store and buy a CD for 10 bucks. That's an hour of music, okay. And you listen to it hundreds of times probably. So, you know, is it worth one penny per video for every viewer? Is it worth a quarter? Is it worth a dollar, right? What's a 20 minute video worth on average? Maybe even one per month. You watch all 30, but like one strikes you. So what percentage of the videos strike you? And then how many videos per month? And how much is being struck worth? So you get struck once a month, it's worth $1 per month. 100 people, $1 per month, 100 and some per month. I mean, that is one night in a motel per month where we could do a bunch of content, we could do a live stream, right? This is breaking down the business of a channel now. Today's day, tomorrow's day 2222, so it'd be hard to whip anything up special but I feel like I could get $222 for something, right? I don't need it. This isn't begging for, it's not a need. It's a, encourage me, give me 222 bucks for day, for homelessness day, 2,222. Better yet, I've been talking about wanting to find thousands in the Venmo. What if tomorrow I ended up having more than $2,222? How sweet would that be? I don't know how much is there right now. Um, I could figure it out, but
So we're at 19.50 already. So should we wrap it up? All right. Have a good one and thanks for joining. Bye.